everybody, this is Marjorie. <laughs> Do you like my wee taupe today? My wee Shein taupe? <laughs> well, I was out, I put this on because I was out in my garden, right? I was tidying up the garden because as we move into the autumn from the summer, and I mean, I've, I've had a right lovely garden this summer. I, but you see the floors, my floors and my plants and my trellises and my, my hanging baskets. Oh, it's been beautiful. And what, I mean, the only thing is, it's been a wee bit hot this summer, hasn't it? It's been a wee bit hot. Some of the, some of the floors have been a bit... <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know the floors? Anyway, do you like this tope? This is, I, I think this is quite like, I used to have a dorma. Remember the dorma duvet? I had the dorma duvet, the curtains and the matching tie bags. I think it's a helmet at one, I went one point two, but it's quite like that. Ain't it? <laughs> I, was in, I was in Danella Mill not that long ago and I went, here, that's like my new tope. So this is, this is my gardening. Well, it's not my garden tope, I did obviously wear it in the garden, but it reminded me of the garden and all, all my lovely floors, right? But you know my posh neighbour, Femi, doing the road, she's always to outdo me. She always has to go one step better than everybody else. Well, she's got one of the big confectionaries, you know, built on her house. And she sits she sits in her garden furniture, you know, inside her confectionery and, and waves to you, you know, if you're going up the back with the wheelie bin. So um, I've, not, I've not bothered. I mean, I've got my lovely, I've got my rockery. I've got my rockery at the front and all my wee plants and my flowers. And then I've got, I've got my patio, you know. Well, it's not really a patio, it's just slabs, right? I've got my slabs at the back and I've got my garden furniture with my table and my chairs and I've got a wee, a wee vegetable patch as well, right? It's quite hard work, it's quite hard work for a lady of my age, you know, a wee, a wee woman of my age, you know, sometimes you, you come in and you're, you're like that, your oaksters are dripping. <laughs> so I was out the back the other day, actually, and fat boy, you know, bohied, fat boy two doors down, he, he appears and he says, Oh, hello, Marjorie. I saw you out the front earlier, um, and I thought, see if I had a beautiful flower garden like yours, Marjorie. I would put my tulips and your tulips together. I went, that is actually giving me the book. Going to get away from me. I says, I'm actually jealous of people who don't know you. And he went, oh, anyway. So... I've told you before about Fat Boy, his hoose, his hoose is absolutely bouffing, absolutely bouffing. I mean, he has to wipe his feet before he comes outside. That's how bouffing it is. So, but in his defence, I'll give him, I'll give him one thing, right? He grows tomatoes. Now, it's not the, it doesn't have any of the testicles and the pesticles and the, the, the ammon is, it's the, what do you call them? The, the, what's the natural tomatoes called? The orgasmic, he's got the, the orgasmic red tomatoes down at the bottom of the garden. Now, how these tomatoes grow in this midden of a garden is anybody's guess. So I says to him, here, I'm having a wee bit problem with my tomatoes. Um, wait, do you have a secret? So he's, he's strong and he's fair proud of himself because I'm asking for advice. But as, as I say, I have to game it. He does have lovely red tomatoes. So he says, Marjorie, darling, my secret is, don't tell anybody, but twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening, I expose myself to the tomatoes and they get that embarrassed that they go red overnight. And I says, oh, he says, why don't you try that with your tomatoes, darling, and see if that helps them ripen? I says, I'm going to try that. Thanks very much. So then he goes to the house, right? So now this was going on for a few days, right? So I'm um, out in the morning, looking about, making sure nobody's about because I thought, oh my God, I'll get taken away with the police. <laughs> so I expose myself in the morning, expose myself in the afternoon, right? So he comes out, he comes out that, that day and he says, hello, darling, how is your tomatoes getting on? Any any joy with the tomatoes? And I says, no, no, no joy with the tomatoes. No, nothing, nothing has changed, but I'll tell you something. You should see the size of my cucumbers. <laughs>